adult organization. Family planning is a way of thinking and living that is voluntarily adopted upon the basis of knowledge by the individual, attitude, and even their responsible decision, and even their corpus, in order to promote the health and well-being of the family or group, and by their action, contribute effectively to the social and economic development of their country. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition on Body Gist. In this edition, we want to look at the various natural family planning methods. I am Sister Ozo Augusta, your nurse midwife and your anchor for today. If you are just joining us on Body Gist, do well to click on the subscribe button so that you always get notified anytime we upload new videos. You can as well follow us on all our other platforms. We're on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We say a big thank you to all our returning subscribers. Do not go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back. The natural family planning method, our birth control method or family planning method that we either use to achieve pregnancy or we use it to prevent pregnancy. It does not involve the use of pills or devices. Hence, it does not have side effects that affect the woman or the partner. The first type of family planning method we want to talk about is abstinence. Abstinence means that the man stays away from his partner. The woman stays away from her partner. The two of them would not have sexual intercourse that would eventually lead to fertilization and subsequently pregnancy. This is an effective means of natural family planning method that enables the couple not to achieve pregnancy. Another type of the natural family planning method is fertility-based awareness method. Fertility-based awareness method. This is based on the observation of the woman fertility signs through adequate monitoring of her menstrual cycles and the ovulation cycle. This type of method is either used to achieve pregnancy or you use it to prevent pregnancy. And there are four types of fertility-based awareness methods that we have. We have the symptotamal. Symptotamal. We have the basal body temperature. This means that the woman observes the rise in her body temperature. Then we have the cervical glucose, which is also called the Billings ovulation method. This means that the woman observes the changes in her cervical glucose. And we also have the calendar method. So these four methods are known as fertility-based awareness method. Another type of natural family planning method we have is the use of the cycle bead. The cycle bead is a bead that is designed specifically for women to keep track of their menstrual cycle. This bead has different colors, denoting the different stages in the woman's menstrual cycle. The cycle bead, like I said, has different colors, denoting the different stages the woman is at her menstrual cycle. The red bead signifies the first day of the menstrual cycle. So the woman moves the ring to the bead. All the brown beads represent the day she is less likely to achieve pregnancy if she has sexual intercourse. And all the white beads denote her fertile days and she is likely to achieve pregnancy if she has sexual intercourse with her partner. Then there's a very dark part of the brown bead, darker than the rest of the bead. This part tells the woman if she begins to menstruate before she gets to this dark part, that's following the arrow, it means that her period is less than 26 days. But if she begins to, if she does not begin the menstruation before she gets here, if the menstruation occurs after the dark brown bead, it means that her period is longer than 26 days. All this she also has to note 
on her calendar so that any day she forgets to move the ring, she will be able to correspond her movement of the ring with what is on the deed and she will get an accurate result of either trying to achieve pregnancy or preventing pregnancy. What the woman needs to know is that if her menses starts before she moves the ring to the dark brown bead, that means that her circle is shorter than 26 days. Then if her menses does not start after she has moved the ring through all the brown bead, it means that her circle is longer than 32 days. The circle bead is an effective means of calculating her menstrual cycle. Then, on the first day of her menses, she should move the black ring to the red bead, following the arrow. Then she should also mark this on her calendar. She needs to use the calendar so that anytime she forgets to move the ring, the calendar would help her to match the effectiveness. Then every morning, she should move the ring in the direction of the arrow and continue to move the ring on each of the day when she has her menses and when her menses have stopped. The next, if the next menstruation starts before she gets to the red bead, she should count the number of beads that, that she has moved and she should skip the remaining brown bead. Counting it tells her her menstrual cycle if it is 26 days, 23 days, 28 days, 29 days or whatever. Then when the ring is on the white bead, she should know that she's likely to get pregnant. Anytime her ring is on the white bead, then she can stay away from pregnancy. If the ring is on the brown bead, it means that she's less likely to achieve pregnancy. Like I said, the circle bead has no side effect and it is very, very helpful in the natural family planning method. For a woman to use the circle bead effectively, her circle has to be between 26 and 32 days. Then she has to have a regular cycle. This would ensure the effectiveness of the circle bead in either achieving pregnancy or preventing pregnancy. Another type of natural family planning method is lactational amenorrhea. Lactational from the word breast milk, breastfeeding. A woman who is breastfeeding, who is producing milk from her breast, then amenorrhea, stoppage or cessation of menses or menstrual flow. Lactational amenorrhea means that the woman is not menstruating. How does it work? A woman who is breastfeeding, I mean exclusive breastfeeding, is known not to ovulate. This is due to the effect of the hormones in the body. The hormone prolactin prevents the release of the hormone estrogen and progesterone, which is known for ovulation. So the hormone prolactin is produced when the woman is breastfeeding, prevents the production of the hormone estrogen and progesterone that helps in the woman in ovulation. So when the woman is not ovulating, it means that the woman is not going to release an egg that will be fertilized during sexual intercourse. This has been highlighted as a means of natural family planning method. But the woman who engages in this must ensure that she is breastfeeding her baby adequately during the day, during the night. She's engaging in exclusive breastfeeding, not giving the baby any other drink other than the breast milk, not even milk formula. When she engages in this, it will help the woman not to achieve pregnancy and it will help the baby to grow very well. We have talked about what natural family planning method is, what family planning is itself. We have looked at the different family planning methods. We talked about abstinence, we talked about fertility-based awareness method, we talked about circle bead, and we talked about lactational amenorrhea method. If you have found this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your loved ones. Follow us on our next video, where we shall be explaining in details the different fertility-based awareness methods. 
Do not forget to drop your comments and your questions in the comment section. We'll be there to attend to it. I remain your nurse midwife, Sister Augusta Ozo. Keep following us on Body Gist while we keep giving you healthy gist.